Good morning, my loves. How are we? How was your April? Oh, the brushes are throwing everything off. I'm doing my makeup and I'm trying to do a really thin liner. How's that going? By the way, this spot from last week, still there. It ain't leaving, it's set up camp. But every wedding on Sunday, so can it please, please, please set up camp somewhere else. This morning, I had my very first in about 15 years tennis lesson. I'm trying every day to exercise or do some form of exercise because it's only been three days since I've made that rule, but I genuinely feel a difference in my endorphins and in my mood, especially because if you're in the UK right now, not to be that British person that talks about the weather, but we have had in three months, 15 days of sun and I am struggling with the lack of sun and I've been away to sunny place twice this year, so, I am in the category of more than 15 days. Waking up every day to a gray day, whew, it's doing things to me. So I need to get those endorphins going and defy the winter that is going on till the dawn of time, apparently. So that was my aim. And you know what? I was gonna join a gym. I was gonna join a gym, but I know what I do in the gym. I stare at my phone. I'm on the treadmill on my phone. I'm on the step machine on my phone. And I just wanted to not be on my phone. I wanted to be outside and like this morning playing tennis, there was like birds chirping. I feel like that's just a way better allocation for me. It's better for me to not be on my phone on the treadmill, just like walking. I just don't think I actually get endorphins from doing that, you know? I'm using this little Clay de Poe dual ended um, ink liner, which is great because you can get like the best of both worlds. This is what I use every single day from Vive. It's their camel liner and it's like the perfect, perfect. Do you remember cork eyeshadow from MAC? It's like that. And it just adds a little bit of color, but nothing like to daytime. I need to sort my hair. Also, I'm going on a little date night tonight. I'm going somewhere new that I booked and you guys know I'm trying to be a foodie these days. And I saw the Times gave this place Humo, which my sister actually recommended, an amazing, amazing review. And you go, apparently, I mean, let's see tonight, I'll take you with me. But we'll go, and apparently they cook all these different meats and fish on different types of woods, like, based on how the meat or the fish should be cooked on wood. I don't know, sounds kind of crazy. So I'm getting ready for that now. Just doing a little bit of lipstick. This is one of my favorite new lip liners. It's from Shiseido. It's Twist Up. Twist Up liners are the vibe, because I always forget a sharpener. Gonna do a little Merit lipstick on top. Did I just curl my hair too much? I feel like I did. I feel like this hair is like now crazy and I just got really overexcited with my strainer. I'm trying to turn off my heating because it's April now but it's so cold in this house. I just had to turn, put on my jumper and turn my heating on because I was like, okay, I give up, I give up. I'm like trying not to have insane heating but it is what it is. Okay, talking about insane, what is this hair? I know Jack is gonna say something at dinner like calling me a poodle. <laughs> Make some joke about my hair. You know boys sometimes like when they try and like compliment you but it comes out like <laughs> it's some weird like masculine description that like wasn't what you intended it to look like at all. Okay, I brush it out plus it's gonna drop. Now before dinner tonight, I have something I wanna show you. That is Something I really, 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 really need to tackle. And this is it neat. This is my spare room, otherwise known as the room of doom. I don't know where <laughs> to start with this room. I think I need to call for reinforcements back up aka Pia because this is gonna be a room. I was gonna paint it blue. I decided against painting it blue because something about the blue is a bit off for me, but my sofa and my curtains are like a burnt orange color. So I don't know about the blue. I don't know if green's gonna work. I need to reevaluate my scheme, which is somewhere in this mess. I need to find it. Okay, that's step one. Oh, maybe it's in here. I don't even know where to start. I'm like freaking out. These are the shoes that I'm going to sell. I'm trying to work with a reseller to sell them, so I will let you know how I get on with that because I still haven't organized myself enough to do my big closet sale, but hopefully April. April is the month for the closet sale, guys. These two bags of clothes are being picked up. They're going to Reliked. I'm gonna leave my Reliked page down below because a lot of my clothes go on Reliked. I have one, two, three, four, five, six suitcases. This is what we're working with up here. But on the plus side, this bathroom up here looks so beautiful. There's no toilet roll because 
No one ever goes up here. <laughs> but it's so pretty in here. Look how nice it is. Like it's the most beautiful bathroom. This needs to be sorted out a sap. Rocky. It's just one of those tasks that I keep putting off and putting off and putting off. I actually just had something really exciting arrive from Caseify. I have used their cases, but I can't even tell you how long. Like, if you've watched me for a long time, you know I always, always, always have a mirror phone case on. They're from Caseify. They're the best cases. I am the clumsiest person in the world. I drop my phone probably multiple times a day and my phone touch wood has never broken. If you haven't heard of Case to Buy, they are the world's most popular tech accessories brand. They are pretty much known for their phone cases. They have like global collaborations. The phone cases that I use, which are the mirror ones, are so great because you can check your makeup, check your teeth, check your like anything. Anytime, by the way, I was even at a wedding when I was in the Maldives and the bride was like, oh, do I have something on my teeth? And I was like, here you go. And she could look in the mirror. Like it's the most useful thing you will ever know in your life to have a mirror on your phone like I can't even begin to tell you. And you can also personalize it. Look, I have AL on mine. Not to get technical, but this is an electro-coated polycarbonate structure, which acts like a mirror, but without the impact of glass or the danger of having a glass phone case. The drop test on these is up to 4.9 feet, so super, super high. And if you look closely, there's a raised bezel to protect your cameras. I've ordered quite a few new things. This phone case that I've had, I've had multiple different variations of, or purchased myself I'm such a huge fan of Chase Defy. I got this one which is new and that actually says Amelia Liana on it. And by the way, the personalization, you can change the color, you can change everything. They also have phone straps. This one is just plain mirror. I'm gonna take off this protective case. I also have a Case Defy discount code for you. If you would like to use it, I'll leave it on the screen and I'll leave a link down below where you can get everything I used discounted. I would highly recommend checking out your phone cases. If you feel like a mirror case isn't for you, you're not that vain, you don't want to check your teeth or your lipstick or your makeup on the go, fair enough. I salute you. They have so many other amazing phone cases that I know you'll love. I actually really wanted one of these, which is like a snake chain. I know all the mums have them, like all my mum friends have these chains on their phones. Oh, I got a gold one. It's like a necklace. Okay, let's put this on. Oh, this is cool. The other thing I absolutely love are these little phone charms that you can attach to your phone. I love them. Isn't that beautiful? I actually think I prefer this to the snake chain, but I kind of want to try the snake chain just to see what it's like to have your phone as like basically a handbag. Look how cool is that? My phone is like a crossbody bag now, like all the mums. This is what my friend Liv has. She needs her phone, she just picks it up and goes, hello, and then when she's done, she just does that. <laughs> Cause I feel like mums always need their hands, you know? But this is actually so useful. I'm gonna put on this one. They're built with a strong magnet for mag safe compatibility. Let's just put this in my new case. Look how pretty. I've had this one, which you really can't tell if I, if I wiped it, you really can't tell the difference. They last so long, I've had this one maybe for like six or seven months and I use my phone multiple times a day every day so they really last such a long time this is my other little situation with my little cute string do you prefer Amelia Liana or do you prefer when it says AL or if you want to be boring you could just have it plain it's cute isn't it I love it I love accessorizing my phone I always have always will my dream case to buy would be to have a little Amelia Liana range because I love your product so much and I've been such a like organic fan I'm so excited about this collaboration so yeah, use my code, enjoy, tell me how much you love having a mirror on the back of your phone and how it's changed your life. By the way, I did see on the Kardashians, Kris Jenner also has the same phone case. So I was like, you know, when it's good enough for Kris Jenner, I already loved it, but if it's good enough for Kris Jenner, it's good enough for me and you, you know? Can I just say one random thing? I don't think brown lipstick suits me. I just keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and I don't think it suits me. I don't think it livens up my face. I think I am a pink person. I'm gonna change my lipstick and tell me if you think it changes like my whole face because I think I'm a pink person through and through. I'm done wearing brown lips. I'm done. I think it changes everything for me pink. I'm not a fan of brown lipstick at all. I think that's better. I've got the dog. I've got Pia. I don't think you've ever seen a room. Like I know you've seen a lot of my room of dooms. Wait, have you organized it? No! Oh, I thought you... It looks got uh, from here, it actually looks really clear. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet, missus. Please get me to see the nicest jobs. <laughs> 
Well, I basically have only brought you here for motivation. Oh my god. <laughs> because if you're here, then I have to deal with it. Whereas every other day for like three months, I'm like, nah, I'll deal with it tomorrow. But if you're here being like, do it. I'm not gonna lie, I actually feel like it's better than the last time I saw it. Really? Yeah. I think, you know why? I think it's just because it's all shoved in that corner and we've got, actually we've got floor space. I need a smile for sale. Okay, so like that and that. Ooh, can I have some gum? <laughs> <laughs> ah, hi. Okay, so what are we doing? Because <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, what if you had to sum up what's in this room, what do you want it sectioned out to be? Two <laughs> <laughs> practical bag, storage, um, products to go. Like, yeah, okay, let's categorize the room. You always need categories. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I'm a bag. Let's oh, see it. Oh, this is so like these. Oh my god! Jeez! You're so cute. I was looking at my old photos that memories popped up, and I have, <laughs> I think, about 20. I was gonna do like a post of all my favorite dogs. Obviously, like Leo and Duke, <laughs> we're gonna be in it. I have about 20 of Duke like this. Uh, he doesn't do that anymore! Love <laughs> it. Found a random empty clay poke and seal and mix. Massive chunk when you actually go and give it away. Yeah. That stuff when it's actually sold yeah. will be gone. Yeah. That stuff <laughs> this just is what stays we've there until today. we next go away. Yeah. Oh. And then I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. We started this side of the room. This side of the room needs some help. Duke found the love of his life. A beauty blender. I've had a date night fail. And I've just been majorly rained on and like dripping wet. I had an hour before dinner. I had the restaurant call me and say they've been trying to get a hold of me for two weeks. Suspicious. Maybe they have. Can they reschedule my booking? And I was like, oh, okay, because my reservation's in an hour. I gave them six dates between now and the beginning of June, and every night they were like, we were full. First I started off like a Saturday night, a Friday night, then I got to like Tuesdays. Wednesday, literally every night, I was at 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m. In the end, they were like, let us know when you want to rebook. And I was like, well, I have. <laughs> But between now and June, you seem to be busy, so why don't you tell me like a slot that you have and I'll, um, sorry, I'm like really wet, tell you if we can come. Anyway, I rebook it for end of May. Jack's like, oh, I'm busy that night. I was like, okay, never mind. So I guess the meats are gonna have to wait. And then I was like, okay, let me make dinner. So I went out and got some lamb chops and salad and vegetables and i'm gonna make that for dinner but shame for my fun date night i planned failed at so let's try and make dinner instead tonight did not go how i planned it to go we normally do dinners and i'll plan one or jack will plan one we'll try and do like date night dinners like new restaurants and stuff but my one failed dinner's ready salad broccoli Lamb chops. Morning. I'm going to go work out with Sophie. We're doing EMS training together and she's giving me strict instructions not to be late. So I need to literally walk out the house right now. But I wanted to quickly show you my workout outfit. Got these little split leggings on, my Nike trainers. And my Farfetch code, by the way, works for night dunks, which are these trainers that are so comfortable. Little skims zip up fleece, which you can't really see, but it's just literally plain black and white. And my Montclair coat. I'm on High Street which is the, where the repose studio is and I go there a lot for their sauna because their sauna is amazing and I have done EMS there before. EMS is kind of interesting because it works on almost like electricity to like stimulate your muscles when you do pretty basic exercises. It's pretty cool. Mm. She told me not to be late and she's late. <laughs> Good morning. I'm schwitzing. I'm schwitzing. Okay, <laughs> last time we went to the gym together, I came looking like what a What angle is this? I came way. looking like a toad and Sophie <laughs> was in full smoky eye. It, it, so it was the smoky eye, that was my natural it's eye circle. Natural. But you know, the makeup it's sits natural. better when you sweat, it's true. So you didn't have this, you have something different. Yeah. You have a much sexier machine. Yeah, why do you think that? <laughs> Why does my skin look like that? Why am I so pale in this? I baked it. 
workout done. Thank you, Max. I, want I just got the gluten-free quiche post-workout from this shop near the workout place near a place called Dandara, which is a new gluten-free place. I have washed my hair and I'm getting ready for dinner with Guy, but I have an hour until I need to leave, so I'm really taking my time. It feels so nice to just take my time, but I'm guaranteeing you that I still will probably be late. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm actually never late for Guy because he's always, always, always on time. I'm not sure if Jack's gonna come and um, maybe if he finishes work on time. I'm saying time a lot. My hair is so poofy. Does anyone else get like really poofy hair after they wash it? Right, I am doing very light makeup for me, like eye makeup. I'm not so much into the heavy eye makeup these days. What do we think? But this pencil is my life. I've been through so many of them. The Vive Eye Crayon because it's so natural. And you know what else is making such a difference? Like I used this in the Maldives when I was like sweating, doing my makeup and everything. This, you need this in your life if you want your makeup to last. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. <laughs> it actually works. I didn't think this would work because like it's water. No, it's not water, it's magical. Hairspray for the face. <laughs> I'm sure the Charlotte Tilbury team would not really appreciate me marketing the hair. Face spray is hairspray for the face, but really, really good. Another amazing product I'm loving is this Patrick Ta blush. It's in the color She's a Doll. It's super, super bright, but on the cheeks, it really translates so nicely. I feel like it really wakes them up. And you've got the cream and powder duo in there, which like really gives what needs to be gave. Now my hair is not giving what needs to be giving. So let's, <laughs> let's try to sort this out. I'm already deep in option two, help. <laughs> I can't even remember if I showed you curling my hair, but my friend Lauren called me and I was just curling my hair on the phone to her and I used the Babyliss Wave Secret. I haven't done my lips yet. But this is option two. I tried on option one, hated it. No, this is option two. It's a jumpsuit from Revolve and it has this little tie here, which is really cool, and these padded shoulders. I, don't, I feel like this might be a bit much. I'm gonna just try on another option just in case. Well, there goes my next option. <laughs> I found another pair, but this is why I don't have any tights. <laughs> why? Then I have this option, which is a favorite of mine at the moment. No tights, though. And I don't know if it's like too cold to not wear tights. Like I won't be walking around or anything, but, and I am wearing boots, um, but I have this little black dress with a blazer on top. I have one more thing to try on and then I'm gonna decide. Okay, this is the vibe, I think. It's a little corset with these wide leg pants. These are little theory pants and I have a discount code. So I'll leave the link to them on the screen. And I feel like this is the vibe now. This is much better. It's kind of somewhere in between like the first two. And note yourself, I need to get me some more tights tomorrow. We are going to Zuma for dinner, which is one of my favorite places. And you know what? You used to be back in the day like really hard to get a reservation like you couldn't even get a reservation a month before like it was one of those kind of places but I feel like so many of those kind of places now like in terms of like more fancier restaurants that people keep trying to get into have come up like more and more in London and I'm talking I'm talking like 10 or 15 years ago like when you literally could not get a reservation at Zuma for level money but now I feel like there are many more places like that that are like fancier Zoom is way easier to eat at and the food is amazing like the food is so good and I literally booked it yesterday perfume Killian Angel Share mm. I think I've gone with the right outfit as well contacts not hot is it <laughs> watching someone else put on deodorant but that's just the level of friendship that you and I have. I'm wearing this coat from El Capini. It's a bit green for the top but I needed a short, a short little coat. And then I'm going to do just a tiny bit of Larry King social life for your hair unlike any flyaways because my hair is still a bit floofy. The floof. The floof, the floof. Wow, very cool. <laughs> oh my god, that is such a great picture. I love you. 
Good morning guys, how are you? It's a sunny Monday, apparently this week is gonna be sunny, I'm so happy. I went to a wedding last night and my dress ripped like mid dance floor, five minutes into the wedding. Luckily the venue is like maybe 15 minutes from my house and I managed to do a door to door in half an hour. I asked the taxi to wait for me outside. I'll be back in literally two seconds. And I like ran home and changed. I was like so upset yeah, to miss even just like half an hour of the wedding. It was so fun. I was messaging to my sister like, no, I'm gonna miss the last so much of the wedding. And she was like, it's fine, half an hour. There's like someone going outside for a really long cigarette. Like no one will even know you were gone <laughs> for that long. I remember this pink in the dress. It, it just split, it literally split. So I changed <laughs> to another little feather dress. And now this morning I'm going dancing. <gasps> Pink Blossom! Guys, look at this! Pink Blossom! <gasps> it's happening! Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow! Good morning! How are you? I know! How great is that sun? Said at the beginning of this week I was working out every day. I did that for three days and then I didn't do it for the rest of the week and then this is a new day. <laughs> I think that was really unrealistic <laughs> expectations from me. But you know, we're rolling with it. Doing it as and when. Dancing always makes me feel so good. Do you know what it is? It's like dancing in my bedroom. Like, does anyone else do that or just me? But like, I'm actually learning a routine. That's what it's like. We just literally dance and have fun to random songs. Oh, he was just sleeping on my slippers. Are you sleeping on my slippers waiting for me? <laughs> Hello, Bubba. Look how fluffy you are. Remember when you were a little naked dog? Little snack. Greek yogurt with apple and cinnamon. I love cinnamon, as you can see. <sighs> After dancing, I'm always starving. How many steps was that? 7,500 steps just from dancing. Wow. <laughs> Let's try and tidy up this kitchen because this place is a mess, mess, mess. I am in love with this probiotic brand, In Vivo. In Vivo. Has anyone tried them or heard of them? I got Bio Me Fem C, which is for Candida, and then Bio Me Fem V, which is for your badge, <laughs> which is supposed to be like good vaginal probiotics. I'm in love with them. I've noticed such a difference taking them. They're so good. Um, I literally ordered them direct from their website, but I wonder if you can get them somewhere else. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. My house is a bit of a mess, and you know when your place is a mess and you can't concentrate on anything else? That's kind of how I feel. But this week we have a four-day work week and then next week we have a four day work week too because of easter so does anyone have any interesting easter plans it's actually jack's birthday on the 6th and then we have four days off so we're going to the country for the weekend and then next week when you're watching this estate and i will be on the way to Shah Wellness. I'm so excited. We're actually going to a little retreat together, like a detox retreat, but it's kind of just like a health retreat. I've never eaten macrobiotics, so I'm a bit nervous for that. Like I've never been even close to being vegan or <laughs> macrobiotics or anything. I don't know if macrobiotic is vegan, but I know it's not, there's no like meat or anything like that so that would be interesting but it's we're only going for like a few days i'm i could never be vegan i don't know i love meat and fish no offense to, to anyone <laughs> no that doesn't offend anyone i'm taking my liposomal vitamin c this is apparently the best vitamin c um that you can have is liposomal vitamin c like it goes directly where it's supposed to go and stuff anyway do your research i get this on amazon i'll link it below because it's literally these sachets which is kind of annoying but I used to get the non-sachet version and it just kept leaking because it's like a liquid and at least now when I travel, because I travel so much I can just like take the liquids with me and then it looks like weird brain. Ah. Mm. 
the most intel is probably on my Amina Liana newsletter. So if you go on my website, I'll leave a link down below and you can just sign up for my newsletter. And I don't only send one a month, which isn't that bad. 12 newsletters a year. That's more than, that's less than some people send in a week. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, how are you? I wanted to show you my outfit quickly because it's a total, pff, it's got wax on the face of my bag, a total winner and I just got back from a meeting and I'm gonna change and go to another meeting and I'm gonna walk to this meeting, which is why I'm gonna change because when you see the outfit you'll understand. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this little Maximo Duty denim two piece which you have to get it's so good this both together was like i think 100 pounds it's such amazing quality oh it's so beautiful and the trousers are such great quality too i'm 5'1 with heels i don't need to alter them which is why i'm changing because i'm gonna walk to my next meeting and i'm wearing heels but how great is this like this is a huge vibe the most beautiful day today. I'm almost at the Sabina Belenko showroom. I've picked a dress to wear to a wedding that I'm going to in a couple of weeks in France. Hopefully it's going to be altered today to like fit me a bit better because there's a corset inside and anyone that wears corsets will know like when they're tight and they hurt you. Oh my gosh, it could literally like ruin you having fun for an evening. Having like that wire like dig into you. Ugh. Got the little bomb bomb. It was complete carnage in here earlier, but I've somehow managed to make it look semi okay. And then I remembered that I had all these revolve clothes to put away, so I was like, okay, let me try them on, decide where they're going, and maybe I can show you. I've also got two dresses that I don't want, but I actually feel like Pia might like one of them. Like one of them's free people, maybe I'll show her the other one too. I always, when I have clothes, like first <laughs> I show my cousins, or like if Pia likes them or someone, and then I'm like, okay. Then I'll see what I can sell and also what I can give to charity. Whenever I get rid of clothes because I have so much, so much stuff, I'll always try and like give them to someone that really wants to wear them. And like, I want them to have a good home and like feel loved, you know? Speaking of Pia, actually, I got this top literally because she has one similar. I think she got it from Ibiza. And I was like, wait, this is like Pia's top that I've always wanted. Wait, this is literally like hers. She's gonna laugh at me, because it's literally like I'm copying her top. I love, like I love a crochet top, but actually this has a lining. I have worn hers before, and um, it, I don't think it had a lining, or did it? I don't remember. Maybe she can write on the screen if it had a lining or not. Anyway, let me try this on. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for summer clothes, summer clothes. This is a little crochet black top, a little black halter neck top. It's kind of more see-through up here and then it has the lining down here so you don't get any nipple action. Sorry, it's the end of the day, my makeup's worn off, I'm shiny in the wrong places and I like have been sweating running home and r anyway. I just want to apologize for what I look like right now. What time is it? It's 10.30. Um, anyway, let me show you this top properly so you can see it. Isn't that nice? Like imagine this with like a nice linen pantal on. Guys, do you ever buy yourself new pajamas? Cause I probably haven't bought pajamas for like four years. I always wear those H&M ones that you've seen me talk about for literally a hundred years. And I just bought new pajamas and I don't want to show my nips but I'm trying to show you them because they look so cute and they're so soft and they're bright yellow and I just feel like the weather has just changed. Well, it hasn't changed, but it feels like it's about to change and then now is the time for like cute bright yellow pajamas. So I'm very happy in my new pajamas. They're from Ebergé, which is the softest pajama brand. I got these ones from net a -Porte. I'm gonna link them down below because Ebergé is the softest brand like that's the thing this makeup has been on for eight ten fourteen hours fourteen hours you know and I haven't touched it up at all not once it's not that bad I mean like my mascaras run my under eyes it's not as bad as you think it would be for fourteen hours it definitely would be better if I bothered to touch it up but I just haven't <laughs> been bothered today because I haven't seen anyone for like the past six hours and next week's vlog you are not ready for I'm not ready for it to be honest it's me and Estee going on a retreat I think it's gonna be one of those vlogs that I want to re-watch and like remember the times like for years to come I am very 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 excited for it I think it'll be fun and I think it'll actually be kind of hard but let's 
see. We'll get through it together, I'm sure. So I will see you next week, Sunday, 9.30 a.m. BST for a, another vlog. I hope you're having a great start to April. And in the meantime, I'll see you on Instagram or TikTok. I'm posting on TikTok loads at the moment, by the way, so you can go follow me on there if you want to. Have a great week, guys. Bye.